Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use conditional formatting in Excel to uh, highlight cells that contain numbers as opposed to the cells that contain text. So I had a question related to a conditional formatting video um, where somebody was asking, hey, you know, can you highlight based on numbers? And yeah, you can. It's really not that tough. And I'm just going to go ahead and pick on a cell here. Let's make sure I'm zoomed in nice and big. And I'll pick on a cell here, and these will contain some values. And I'll go ahead and put in a few numbers and then occasional some text. There we go. So now I've got some cells that contain numbers and text. Now there's two functions that we, we could use. And there's an isNumber function and there's an isText function. And they work pretty darn well. So isNumber isText. So basically, I can set up a function equals isNumber click on the cell that I want to test. And that's going to give me either a true or a false, depending on if that cell value is a number. Great. As you can imagine, is text is going to work pretty similar. Is text, click on the cell in question, and then bring that down. Why would you ever want to use something like this? I don't know. There could be a number of situations. Maybe there's, in a database, there's a uh, there's a, a field which is basically a uh, number of years of service over, you know, over two. Before that, they have the word new or probational employee. After that, they actually have a number that represents it. So it could be a number of situations. But since we can, since we can use this is number or is text function, it's pretty easy to do a conditional format with a formula. I'm going to go ahead and select the range of values that I've got. I'll go to conditional formatting, and I could go into highlight cells rule, and then more rules, and then choose, choose new. Otherwise, I'll just go right to new rule. I'm going to use a formula for my rule. And my formula, I know this is really tiny here, so I'll zoom in, equals is number, and then I'm going to do my check with the first one. I really don't want that to be absolute. So I'm going to write this in by hand, I think. I'll say F2 equals true. Okay, so if the cell value is truly a number, then I'm going to format it. And let's see, I'll change the font to green and the weight to bold. I'll click OK. There we go. Now, because I selected this range before starting, it's going to apply this conditional format to that range. I'll click OK. And now I can see all my number values are um, bold and green. I'm going to do this again. I'll select that range, conditional format, new rules, use a formula, and then again, actually not again, this time I'll do equals is text, and I'll type in my first field, which is F2, no absolute values on that one, equals true. So now I'm checking for text, and I'm going to format that one. This time I'll do a fill of a, a peachy color there. And I'll click OK, click OK, and there we go. So now my text cells contain that different formatting than numbers. And sure enough, it'll work because if I were to type in 35, it's now text. It's going to get formatted, conditionally formatted as text. And if I change this text to 100, it's now going to be formatted as a number. So there you go. Is number or is text. And you can use those in your conditional formatting formulas. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me.